dogs. I'm tired as hell. It's worth it though. I'm on this journey to become the best boxer that I can be. You feel me? I'm planning to have some fights in the future, so. I come in here at least like every day. Like I don't play with it. Cause if you gonna ever reach your potential, you gotta put in those hours, you gotta put in that work. Say 10,000 hours, you become a master at something. Well, I definitely didn't put in a couple hundred, so I still got a long way to go. You feel me? But just don't doubt yourself what you're capable of. Because y'all are going to see progress. So, yeah, back to another video with your boy Jules TV. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I got some real game for y'all boys today. I got some real, you feel me, information I think could benefit you when it comes to talking to females and navigating through females and dealing with all they have to bring to your life because it could either be good or bad, you feel me? Like you can either allow a leech into your life or you can allow a woman that's going to uplift you and build you and put substance into your tank, you feel me? That's gonna gas you up to get to that height that you need to get to. Cause sometimes they can just serve as a distraction and other times they can be beneficial. So you gotta know how to decipher the two, okay? And I know y'all see my last video when I had a uh, mystery girl in there. Yeah, um, I can't even lie, that girl, when she left, I missed her. I did. I was like, damn. I ain't felt that feeling in a while, you know? I really haven't uh, since I got out of my relationship, like, probably two years ago. You know, I haven't really felt a deep connection with a female since then. To the point where I feel like I'm missing you and want you to be around me type stuff. I know I'm sounding, you know, but I'm just being real. I'm being honest because a man going to know, you know, he knows what he wants and he knows what he wants to pursue and he know when it's different, and especially when you don't have options because some dudes, they're just going to go with the first pretty girl they meet or, you know, what the best that they done had. So it's like they going to put up with all of her BS, all of her baggage all her toxic stuff man you don't have to put up with none of that when you know your worth as a man don't put up with none of that you gotta let them know at the door like you're not gonna be talking to me crazy you're not gonna be bringing your old traumas into our new what we got going on all of that you're not gonna be pressing me and rushing me to, you know, have we, like, we moving too fast. Like, no, nah, you're not going to be doing none of that. And as the man, you have to know your role. And you have to know how to command that. And how you command that is, you feel me, having a backbone, just putting your foot down, setting the ground rules and standing on that. You can't say one thing and do the other. You can't tell her you done with her, then still have her laying up at your crib, you feel me? Like, nah, shawty, you gotta go when I tell you I'm done with you. I mean that. Your words gotta have meaning. Because if they feel like you go back on your word, they just gonna take advantage of you. That's the first sign of weakness they gonna see. Oh, uh, this nigga, he don't even keep his word. He got a weakness for me. He got a soft spot for me, you feel me? So it's like, they're going to try to see how much they can get up out of you, how much they can straddle that fence and walk on them little boundaries, you feel me? But um, as it pertains to me, I'm like, damn, bro, is she the one? I don't know. But, like, navigating who the one is, I just want to give you a little game on how you do that. First, you got to put time behind it. Then secondly, look, that's her texting me right now. Look, I see a little smile go on my face. Hold on. Secondly, you got to 
notice the red flags and the signs early. You gotta scope her out. Don't just go off her looks and how she fucking look and get mesmerized and be like, hold on, this is, she don't even got no car. She ain't trying to get no car. <laughs> you take her on a date. She don't even offer nothing. She don't even, she don't even bat her eye. She don't even pull out her wallet. She don't even act like she finna pay. She just expects you to do that off the rip. Because we living in 2021 and females is getting their own bag. And I want to mess with a female that got her own bag. You feel me? I'm not trying to mess with no bum. I'm not trying to take care of nobody like they my kid. You feel me? Like, yeah, I'm a provider. I'm a man. So I'm going to do that. Like, just out of my nature, I'm going to handle it most likely. But don't act like I'm just supposed to. You feel me? Like, I just have to do that because I really don't. But that's just who I am. That's how that's I know that's the man I want to be. It's that provider. So you got to notice the red flags, bro. She toxic. She always got an attitude. She always mad about life, mad about something. She don't have no ambition, no drive. She's just looking for a nigga to get her something to eat. And don't be that dude that's going out paying for her whole meal. Then when she getting y'all get back in the car and it's time to drop her off, then you like, so uh, can I come upstairs? Can I come upstairs? <laughs> then she be like, um, you know my um my roommate uh I got I got uh nah, don't be that nigga, bro. <laughs> don't be that dude. Be the dude that shit. She doing something on the way dropping her off you feel me <laughs> or it's like shit where we finna park real quick you got a roommate in there where we finna park like not saying that you just want sex but like don't be getting used out here don't let them use you and when they car break down they need their tire change call you because they know you're gonna come through because they know <laughs> they ain't gotta give you nothing for you to be a day back in call So, put time behind it. Notice the red flags. Notice how she make you feel. Because a man going to know when a woman is different. He going to know when it hit. Especially when you got options and you can. You done seen a lot of different choices. You feel me? You done dated. So, it's like. You're not just going off the first thing you see. You're looking for that girl that could come with the full package. You know? And you know. And I think I might be... I don't know. I might be feeling like that. But I ain't gonna jinx it. I ain't gonna put nothing on it. Because I still gotta let it grow. But it's been growing for a while. So let me know if y'all wanna see... Uh, well, y'all gonna see more videos with uh, Mystery Lady, regardless, because that's just the type of time we on. But, uh, a man gonna know, man. Because a female will be out here playing you quick, bro. They'll play you quick. So, don't be that guy. Do not be that guy. You feel me? Because we all done been there. Everybody done got their heart broke or got played or whatever. But it's like, bro, learn from that shit. Don't keep making the same mistakes that you made before. Learn from that shit. Learn how to set boundaries. Learn how to lead in a relationship. Because a girl going to follow you wherever you going if you know where you going. You feel me? She going to want to ride on your back. <laughs> she going to want to get in your pocket and go like... Where we going? You see them girls in them videos, they be so happy riding around with they nigga because, bro, he know where he going. And they like, I want to follow you anywhere. We going to the store. All right, let's go. <laughs>
how to weed these gold diggers and girls that ain't about shit. Girls that's just gonna make your life hell. Cause all cat ain't good cat. So. <laughs> Don't get fooled out here, bro. Do not get fooled. So, uh, I think that's all. I'm not going to bore y'all or talk too much. I'm just going to drop this jewel, this gem, and get up out of here. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Peace out.